Folks, today's stock analysis is going to be DocuSign, ticker symbol D-O-C-U, NASDAQ listed stock. And what we're going to talk about are the fundamentals of the stock. We're going to talk about the strength of the stock relative to its peer group. And we're also going to talk about whether or not the stock is under accumulation or distribution. And then we're going to leave off with a detailed analysis of the chart of DocuSign. And the charting platform that we'll be using today is TrendSpider, our sponsor. For those folks not familiar with TrendSpider, it is the next generation in charting software. It brings automated technical analysis using algorithms to the retail trader at a very, very reasonable price. So I strongly encourage you to use that link below and take advantage of their 40% off Labor Day sale expiring on the 6th. By using TrendSpider, you'll automate your grunt work, speed up your technical analysis while improving your accuracy. There's no sense in speeding up your analysis if you're not getting the value add of improving your accuracy. With their scanners, You'll find winning chart setups, you'll reduce costly analytical mistakes, and you'll be able to time your trades with precision by using their trade alerts. And you'll see me demonstrating how to do that later on in this commentary. So quickly, head on over. Again, use that link below. Don't use my discount code because they're giving an extra special 10% on top of what I normally get off, 40% off through September the 6th. They have a seven day free trial offer you can take the demo tour and they have a whole bunch of tutorials and they are expanding and their customer support team is head and shoulders above the competition so act now i believe in it so much that i give it away free to our silver and gold level members to the contrarian trader now let's begin our analysis of docusign docusign closed out the last trading day at three hundred and ten dollars and five cents Per share. It is a member of the Software Enterprise Group and it is number one rank. Year to date, the shares are up nearly 39.5%. Their next earnings date is going to be on December the 3rd. Their earnings per share change last quarter was 176%. Their three year EPS growth, 242%. And their EPS estimated change for the current year, 88%. And this is a number I really, really love. This one here, annual ROE, that's return on equity. What, that, what this is, is a measure of the efficiency of management. And any number in the double digits is a respectable number. Once you get up into the 20s, that's like a real wow number. To have an, a return on equity of nearly 42 is just bonkers. I mean, off the wall, great. One of my other favorite metrics, sales. Even more than earnings per share growth, I like sales. Because companies can manipulate their EPS. Buying back stock, if they have a blowout quarter on earnings per share, yet their sales really didn't surprise to the upside, well then, I'd have to take a look at that EPS number to see whether or not there was a non-recurring one-time item that occurred. Could be a favorable lawsuit, it could be a tax change. So sales, very critical. Sales rose last quarter 50%, really rock solid stuff. And their three year sales growth rate, 44%, wonderful, outstanding. Debt, they have a lot of debt, 213%. However, that's nothing unusual for a company which is growing at a rapid pace as DocuSign is. Now, I mentioned earlier their composite rating as measured by Investors Business Daily. I outsource my fundamental analysis. And IBD is by far the best in my book. Their ranking is 99. You can't get better than that. Their earnings per share rating, 99. Can't get better than that. Relative strength rating, 88. Respectable. It can go higher. Its relative strength rating is an 88. So what this means is that relative to all stocks in Investors Business Daily's database over the past 12 months, DocuSign has outperformed 88% of them, so a really respectable number. The industry group rating, you don't get better than this. The industry is under strong accumulation, and the SMR rating, that's a ranking by IBD for sales, return on equity, which we discussed earlier, and their score is an A, which is very respectable. 
And as to whether or not the shares are under accumulation or distribution, it is clear that the shares are under accumulation by institutional investors and DocuSign sports a rating of B+, very respectable. And I'm going to share with you on the charts why I think that's going up higher. Now, moving on to the technical analysis of the chart of DocuSign, I want to go over three individual charts. Uh, we begin normally at the contrarian trader when we are analyzing a stock with a monthly chart. Why is that? Well, the monthly chart gives us a 100,000 foot view of the battlefield. It, it allows us to look back in time to see how the stock has been behaving. And that helps us determine where we believe the stock may be going. Then we'll do a deeper dive into a weekly chart and then a daily chart. And then we'll determine, okay, is it time to buy or do we want to wait? So let's begin with a monthly chart of DocuSign. We'll be using TrendSpider. Again, 40% discount code below. Use that link. And we'll be setting up our parameters of as to what we want to see from DocuSign before we pull the trigger and we purchase the shares. So looking at a, a monthly chart, I, I have to tell you, it's a gorgeous chart. We had a major, major bull run through 2020 during the COVID period. We then, after becoming extremely overbought, we formed a long-term consolidation and when I look at a chart like this, the old adage comes to mind of the longer the consolidation, the greater the validation of any breakout. And you can see that in June, DocuSign broke out of very, very serious resistance above. And it did so on very strong volume. The RSI, very strong. It's validating the move up higher. Stochastics are overbought, but... They can stay overbought. This is a monthly chart. So there is certainly more room to the upside on DocuSign from a longer term perspective. Drilling down now to a weekly view, here's where we begin to become a bit more granular. And what you'll note here is that after having a nice run, we broke out, continuation move higher. That was through June. Then we formed a consolidation range in July and August. We drop back down. Then we flash this blue raindrop doji. And what that implies is that there's indecision and that there's a probability of a directional move forthcoming, usually in the opposite direction of where the stock has been trading. So you could see that we had pulled back the probability of a resumption of the uptrend was very very possible changing now to normal candlesticks and you could see that the week of august the 22nd we flashed a breakout and then last week we saw a continuation breakout a bullish key reversal on the week stochastics on a weekly time frame are extended yet still rising volume last week was outstanding this is exactly what you want to see. You want to see institutional accumulation. And we already went over IBD's ranking of these shares. B plus, very, very positive. And now we're validating what IBD is telling us on the chart itself. Taking a look at the RSI, it's rising and validating the price action. So you could see that this breakout out of this wedge formation is a breakout that needs to be respected. And here's where we begin to set up our alerts. What I would love to see here on DocuSign is a retracement and a second retest of this breakout point. So we're going to create an alert. We're going to keep a little bit of sensitivity. So that'll let us know when we get into the neighborhood of touching the support level. So our alert is ready to go. We want to know if we get the retracement, I'll get notified on a 30 minute confirmation candle and we will be looking to open up a position on DocuSign. We'll keep this active for about three weeks and we're good to go. When else might I be interested in getting long of DocuSign? Well, another opportunity, not my preferred, but maybe my only option is a breakout 
above this resistance level here, we saw a high of 314 spot 76. So I want to know if we happen to break out above that resistance level. No sensitivity. All we care about is a close above that mark. So now our alert is set to get notified if we break out on DocuSign on a weekly time frame. Now, I have written down here, add or open. What does that mean? Well, if, if in fact we do get hit and we open up a position on a retest of the breakout point, well, then we open up a position. But we're not going to buy all our shares at one time. We're going to nibble. And then after we successfully break out above resistance, we will then add more. So it's an incremental approach to building a position in DocuSign daily chart. Now, the daily chart, really fantastic. And pretty much what happened on a daily time frame is what I want to see happen on a weekly time frame so that we can open a position. What do I mean? Well, we broke out here on the 27th of August. Continuation move up higher, but it was rejected. It fell. We dropped back down, and then we retested what was resistance, then acted as support on the 21st of August. Traders are OCD. Technicians like me were OCD. Obsessive compulsive disorder. We love nothing more than to see what was resistance to then become support. It builds confidence. We then consolidated a couple of more days. Then we saw a continuation breakout higher, taking out the highs of the 30th and closing there. That's what makes it so impressive. And we did it all on volume. Very, very important. So we already have our alerts set up here. This marks weekly resistance. Remember, we knew there were sellers up here because there was a rejection at that level on August the 10th. And once we close above the highs of August the 10th, well, then we enter a realm, a, a, an environment of trading for DocuSign, which I like to call clear blue skies. What does that mean? It means that you have no overhead supply above. No previous buyers of the shares who regretted the purchase and are now looking to get made whole the minute they are flat on the trade. We don't have any of those concerns. RSI, hockey sticking up, love it. Higher lows, hockey sticking up, great stuff. Validating the breakout here on DocuSign. And taking a look at the stochastics, you could see that they're putting in higher lows. There's a lot more room in the tank here for DocuSign to continue up higher. So in closing, we are very bullish on DocuSign on a fundamental basis. We are bullish on DocuSign on a technical basis. And we'll be looking to add these shares to our portfolio in the coming week and weeks. In closing, folks, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Share with a friend. Don't forget about the 40% discount on TrendSpider. Use that link below. It'll take you over to the website. They have a seven-day free trial offer. The Contrarian Trader, we give a 14-day free trial offer. If you're a silver and gold level member, you get TrendSpider free. So join us now. Everybody enjoy the remainder of your Labor Day and be well.